Hey guys, what's up? Me or Kitty? Alright, so if you've seen the title, you know what game we're going to be playing. It is Fisher Price Pirate Ship Boat. Yeah, we're going to be pirates today. Even though I don't really look like a pirate. Yeah, I know my outfits are usually somewhat together with what we're doing. Um, I don't have a pirate costume. And it's uh, it's quite a ways from Halloween. And uh, I don't really feel like ordering one online. So uh, we get confident Angelica. You know. Close enough to being a pirate, right? Like, I mean, you have to have confidence to be a pirate. Like, you, you can't be, like, a meek pirate. Like, that's, that's just not a thing. Yeah, you don't get anything done being a meek pirate. But anyways. So, we're gonna be playing another Fisher Price game. And I know that there's been a gap between when we started playing them. Uh, obviously, one just needed to give it a break. But on top of that, there was a technical issue that did happen with these games. So, obviously, yes, we've had some bumps in the road when it came to some of the other Fisher Price games just not working. This one unfortunately was in the worst shape when I would try to play it on my main computer and even in a virtual machine. The audio just would not play. The actual video played fine. It played perfectly. The game itself played perfectly. But the audio just would not play. And obviously it's because of the older format of the audio files being uh MIDI files. MIDI files, I think is actually Midi, Medi, they're old. So of course it got put into the pile with some of my other games, which is it required older hardware, the actual hardware to run. And obviously I've tested it. God, I think I've tested this at least like six times. Just make absolutely sure it works. <laughs> Cause the last thing I need is for this thing just not to work halfway through the video. Hmm, that sounds like a familiar pattern. <laughs> Um, obviously I haven't gone through the whole game, I've gone through the intro and I've like made sure that like I can sign in and you know that the actual intro dialogue actually plays and I can click around and do things. That is it. I haven't gotten into the actual gameplay of it. Obviously as you'll see when we hit the sign in page it'll say test and we're not going to play that one because that's only a test file. Yes. But something interesting I kind of wanted to show you guys is We've actually played quite a few Fisher Price games on this channel already. <laughs> right down here on my desk, I have a lineup of the games and kind of like about the time they came out. Obviously, there's no like month or actual day to it, so I'm kind of guessing about when the releases came out. I didn't verify it, of course, as usual. <laughs> but so obviously, we've got Fisher Price Pirate Ship, and this is the one we're playing. I believe this version of Fisher Price Castle was actually the very first one to come out, in my collection at least. Um, this was actually released also in 1996. Then we have Time to Play Pet Shop, which is also 1996. <laughs> then we have Wild Western Town, which is 1997. The Second Castle Game, which is 1998. And then Time to Play Dollhouse, 2001. As I was going through these, and especially with this one, and as well as just uh, if you guys have been on uh, some of the online market places and stuff like that, you know, sometimes people will be selling like uh, lots of games. And I don't mean lots as in like, oh, it's a lot of games, even though that is what it is. I mean like it's an actual lot. I have a box of games and stuff like that, a lot of it, and I'm selling it to you for a single price of like 15 bucks for like 12 games. Stuff like that. I discovered that there's actually more Fisher Price games. Way more. So like here in the back of the uh, pirate ship one, there are three more games technically that I do not have. Obviously um, this is for the like European uh what's the word? Sorry. Customers. Customers. <laughs> or, you know, the European kids, basically. You know, this is for them. But I do remember seeing quite a lot online the Fisher Price Toyland game. I haven't seen anything of, like, I haven't seen anything about it. I don't know what exactly it entails. All I know is that it's for ages three to six. That's it. I have seen some of the Play Family games. I think I actually might have one, the airport one. So that one's sitting on my shelf, and I'll probably play that next at some point. And 
I recently discovered, recently discovered that there's actually another game of this somewhere. Something like this. And I think it might be a newer release, maybe like mid-2000s, I'm guessing. I don't know. I haven't looked into it too, too much because obviously I don't want to spoil too much for myself. But it's out there. And I'm really excited because I actually really want to see if I can get that one. As well as, you know, the rest of the games in this little collection. I did think when I started this channel that my channel was going to consist of all these kids' games. Like, I was pretty sure that my... I was pretty sure my gaming collection was going to consist of Rugrats, Barbie, Diva Stars, other Mattel products that were close to me as a child, maybe Legos? I, I think... No, Legos is their own thing, not owned by Mattel. I was thinking of Hot Wheels for some reason, because I, I thought for years Hot Wheels was just its own thing. Nope, apparently Mattel owns that too. Didn't know that. I was thinking, like, it was going to be that, not Fisher-Price. And it's even funnier because now with all the Fisher-Price games, I'm now even thinking to myself, like, because I have wanted to do toy reviews and I want to do more toy stuff with the channel. It's just... It costs money. But I also need a bigger place. So that might be on the back burner until I move out. Which I don't know when that is. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, let's get into the game. Ahoy, mateys! I'm Pongalo Pete, the captain's first mate! The captain is waiting, so follow me! <laughs> Sorry, captain! Blasted bird! Well, shiver me timbers! Where have you been? I be Captain Stubbs, the bravest pirate on the seven seas. Welcome aboard me pirate ship. Aye, she's a beauty. Don't forget to wipe your feet. Just type your name in the logbook and hit return. If your name is already in the book, just click on the anchor next to it to continue your game. So of course, obviously, before we even get started, we have to look at everything. Because we're going to be a new crew member. Um, I don't know who's... I can't really see the name that he's covering up. I think it's Summer John. Then we have Mr. Him? Pine? It's been a while since I've read Cursive, guys, okay? I'm sorry. I I'm slightly part of that generation that can't read Cursive. We got Helga, we've got Is that Quag? 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 And then Mr. Spiny, Mr. Theory, and then obviously Potty. No stowaways allowed. Sorry, guys. I guess you're not allowed on this adventure with me. I don't see enough names for us to all sign our names, and so... I guess you just can't come along. I mean, we are, we're only in trouble if we actually get caught, so I guess we'll just risk it. See, so yeah, are... We're not allowed spaces. Or more than one capital letter. Good to know. Well, blow me down. I we have a lot to do, so let's begin. Uh, let's begin. Begging your pardon, Captain Stubbs. Hi, Mr. Spivey. Mr. Pym reports the piano out of tune again, sir. Stone the crows, not again. Well, bust my barnacles. If I don't fix it, we'll have to call off the big sing-along. Pungalo Pete, you take over topside. Aye, aye, Captain. Pungalo Pete. Arr, troubles, troubles. And I still haven't found the pieces of me treasure map. 
Captain Stubbs tore his treasure map into nine pieces and hid them about the ship. But now, he's forgotten where he's put them. Maybe you can help me find them. I'll bet my beak there's a map piece here somewhere. It's really weird, because I will say, one thing I remember as a kid was that this one was kind of the creepiest game to me. And I think it's because, like, there's absolutely no background music. It's all background sounds, almost to give, like, an ambiance. But it's just really unnerving that there's no background music whatsoever. Uh, let's see. So that's going down. That's going into there. I found one, without even trying. Do I have to click it? You must be really lucky. I'm really lucky, guys. That was really difficult. I would have never found that. Are, th are there other hiding? Oh, so it's gonna be like one of those things that we just have to like hover around the environment. Okay. That's kind of gonna get annoying, not gonna lie. Let's see, but where should we go? Um, I'm gonna head up towards... I wonder if there's a map piece here. Check around! Hey, that frog is back from Wild West Town. Bye-bye. We can go in the captain's quarters. We can also drive the ship right into the rock. <laughs> and I don't mean Dwayne Johnson. I don't want to do that. I like I like Dwayne. Dwayne's a good guy. We I don't want to run him over with a boat. I think this one's actually a mini game, this cannon one. I really want to do this one. <laughs> this here's the cannon, you know. It's my business to take care of it. My name's Gunner John. I likes to shoot cannons. But you has to shoot them carefully, you know. Or you could hit somebody. You could kablooey! Ha ha ha! Why don't you try? Go ahead. Put something up near the little hole. You've got to click and drag on it, eh? So, uh, very much like the cannon shooting game in Wild Western Town. This is exactly what you think it is. It's exactly that. Let's start with something very... Nothing special. Let's do a cannonball. I love how everything stops when I grab something. Just like... Are you really gonna put it in? No, maybe not. Maybe... No. Oh, now no. all you have to do is click on this rope and pull it out. Click it or... Oh, it's me when I was thinking. Okay, so... Okay. So I think in the other game, there... I mean, I don't see any landmarks or anything, but I'm, like, wondering, is it going to be different depending on what direction I try to shoot the things in? Because if it is, then obviously there's a lot of possibilities for what to do here. I'm going to try with the cannon and see what happens. So that was off to the left. Let's try just straight ahead. Okay, so there are different things. So now off to the right. And some of them will be the same, obviously, for some of these items, so... Alright. Let's get to work. Wait! Not me! You can't do this! I'm Top Bird! I'm Squab on the job! 
Wait, not me. You can't do this. I'm top bird. I'm In the cannon. <laughs> Guess what, Pete? Wait, not me. You can't do this. I'm top bird. I'm squab on the job. <laughs> he landed on a deserted island somewhere out there. What the heck? Oh, I... I think I lost that mop forever now. We're not getting that back. Okay. Look at his smug face. Okay, into the cannon. Okay, so it seems like I'm getting the impression that there's really only two different variations of these, so like the, s the different sides and then like the straight. So we'll put in the next chicken just to make sure. I give it about a seven or an eight. I think that was good. I love how Fisher Price just makes it. I mean, they make it known that it's like you know, we eat animals. We as we as a society, we eat animals, and we're not gonna shy away from that fact. Lobster, get in there. In you go. There's another thing I'm not getting back. Though it is kind of fun that they don't- it, Or like, it makes a lot of logical sense. And it's kind of interesting that they made it so like, when you throw the items overboard, you don't get those back. <laughs> what if I do this one straight ahead towards the island? Nope, that's just gone. I look so happy to be shot out of a cannon. That's my dog, Bonnie. Have fun, Bonnie. <laughs> Have fun, Bonnie. Whoops. My Bonnie lies over the ocean. That's my dog, Bonnie. Have fun, Bonnie. <laughs> good job, Bonnie. You're a good dog. Let's see. Mousy? Funny thing is, it actually has a good beat too. You could remix that if you wanted. <laughs> Where the frick did the elephant come in? Okay, for a minute I was like, is he coming back? 
the little winker. His face as he goes and just All the way up to the crow's nest, and how did he get wet from the crow's nest? The logic is starting to fall apart, guys. All right, our last chicken. Oh my god. Are we gonna experience the same amount of death as we did in Wild Western Town? Like, is this basically just that game? Can't grab the barrel underneath. I think there's. I mean, oh, going for a ride! Oh, going for a ride! Oh! Yeehaw! Oh, going for a ride! Oh! Oh, he didn't hit the island too. Okay. Well, I think we're done here. Can I? It's like the twittering of songbirds in spring. <laughs> Loveliest sound as ever was heard. I think I hear the angels singing. Can I grab anything else? Can I put multiple things there? That's my dog, Bonnie. Have fun, Bonnie. No, okay. My Bonnie lies over the ocean. And actually, now I'm starting to retract my other statement of like the whole like directional things because I just pulled it straight back just to make sure, like, just to see what happened. Just to kind of get it done over with so I can move on. And the dog did the first animation, so now I'm a little... I think I've gone through all the animations. I don't think I have to wait. But obviously if there's any missing, I'll tack them on to the end. Or tack them on after this and just be like, Hey guys, here you go. Here's the rest of them that we missed. Anyways, but we're moving on. I just bet there's a map piece here. Time to weigh the anchor. Hmm... I would definitely say that this anchor weighs about a hundred pounds. I mean, she's doing pretty good if she can lift a hundred pounds. I can barely lift 50 without feeling as though my fingers are gonna snap. <laughs> I'm sure that's not impressive to anybody else, but I'm talking about like just any normal Joe Schmo kind of person. 100 pounds is still a lot to, like, lift with your bare hands. At least to me it is. Okay. All right, let's go into the captain's quarters. Let's see. Dear Mum, greetings from the high seas. Oh, it's you. The piano's all ship -shape. And I was just writing me mother a letter. It's every pirate's sworn duty to write home twice. Time to feed the parrot! Time to feed the parrot! You're a bottomless pit, Pongolo Pete. I've already fed you today. And I'll walk the plank before I throw another morsel down your greedy gullet. Hey, me bucko! How's about looking around for something to feed me? I'm starving! <laughs> what is this crack? Bottom comes up. Eat his mother. Do it. Do it.
are we literally gonna feed him everything in sight? Am I contributing to the Vor community and I didn't know it? I I pray to God I I am not. The telescope made him sick, but not the whole metal horseshoe. Really? Here, have some stink. Have some more bugs. Okay, there's certain things in this environment that we're not going to be able to eat. Here, have this. this will kill you. Why not? Hi, matey. There be my collector card. A good likeness, wouldn't you say? Don't forget, every time you click on a pirate, you get a collector card. Okay, cool. I don't know where I f like if these collector cards are saved for whatever reason or anything, but obviously they're in the video at least, so I can then just take them from there. I may print them out, color them. <laughs> I may not color them by hand. Actually, I might just do it in a another program again. But it would be kind of fun to get the collector cards and then maybe like add them to the collection on my wall. That feels like it'd be kind of cool. Also, why am I out of focus? There we go. I fixed it. Here's my card, pirate pal. Okay, we got his card. Um. I didn't mean to leave. I'll just bet there's a map piece here. Oh, we didn't leave. <gasps> pirate ship. We can make our own pirate ship. Avast me, pirate friend. That there is going to be me ship in a bottle. But I haven't built it yet. You can build a ship in a bottle if you want to. Well, blow me down. Just click on the ship parts on the table. When you do, a different part of the ship appears inside the bottle. You can also get pirates and little thingamajigs, which you can click and drag anywheres in the bottle you likes. And if you has a printer, you can click on the print button to make a picture of the ship you've made. Then you can color it in. Yo ho ho. Oh, it's in black and white. Yeah, okay, so that one I'll definitely want to, uh... Yeah, I'll definitely want to just save it as a file and then come back to it. Oh, these are like tiny, tiny decorations. <laughs> Dear Mom, stuck at sea with the captain. No land in sight. Send oranges, your son Gordon. <laughs> what the frick is- what? What poor soul named Gordon was stuck on this ship? And are we ever gonna see Gordon again? <laughs> I like this kite. I like it. I want a banana boat. Banana. How many pirates we got? Holy crap, I've got a whole crew on here now. There are no more ship pieces left, matey. Good. <laughs> we are the only ship. 
the only one on the seven seas that has a tramp stamp. We're also going to be the only ship that has lips. <laughs> Luscious lips. Yeah, that looks like a pretty good ship. I ship it. Okay, so I guess I can't print it, and I don't have the option of, like, saving as a file to print it, so... I guess that's what we get. Aye, matey. That be one fine, fair vessel you've made. Why, it's as beautiful as me own. Thank you. I think there's a piece of the map here. See if you can find it. What if I don't want to find it? <laughs> But I don't want to find it. Ah, oh, frick. Look at how many not find pieces it. of the map you found! That there is me very own Jolly Roger. Jolly Roger is just another name for a pirate flag. And every pirate captain has a different one. Maybe you'd like to make a Jolly Roger. Yes. It's a flag horrific fun fest. <laughs> Pipe down, Featherbrain. I'm captain here. All ye have to do is first click on the little flag until you have the color you want. Then click on the other little pictures next to the big flag. The alphabet letters, pirates, and thingamajigs pop up in the middle. And if ye has a printer, just click on the print button and you can make a picture of your flag for coloring and cutting out and such. Another thing I'm actually wondering, because I actually do have a connection cable for my printer. It's wireless, but it, it, it has a connection cable, and I'm actually wondering, if I take that connection cable from that computer, my main computer, and pull it over to my other one, <laughs> is it going to be too new? I'm actually quite interested. Okay, so give me one moment. One moment. Oh no, she don't reach. <laughs> Okay, um, well, I tried the printer thing, and, uh, the printer's way too new, obviously. But, you know, I thought I'd try it, anyways. No. Maybe, maybe I'd get lucky. I don't know. I tried it. It didn't work. Yeah, it didn't work. But there, there was something that was happening when I got back in the game, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna show that off. Keep looking for those map pieces, me bucko! <laughs> Hi, John. Let's see. Dear Mum, greetings from the high seas. We have more oh, snacks. It's you. The piano's all ship shape. And I was just writing me mother a letter. It's every pirate's sworn duty to write home twice. Ah, time to feed the parrot. Time to feed the parrot. You're a bottomless pit, Pongolo Pete. I've already fed you today. Is that TNT? before I throw another morsel down your greedy gullet. Hey, me bucko! How's about looking around for something to feed me? I'm starving! <laughs> you want some TNT? Captain just kind of looks at him. He's just like stupid bird. And he goes back to writing his letter to his mom. He doesn't care that the guy just blew a hole in the ceiling of his quarters and through the ship. Nope. Yeah, doesn't care. Just doesn't care. Why not? Oh, we'll we'll eat the precious and valuable TNT, but we will not eat this diary. Great. Have a whole. Ah! Ah! 
Is this you being scared of it? Like, no? Ah! Have fun. <gasps> I was expecting that to end a lot differently. Here, have some junk food. Have some more crackers. Okay. Let's go back down to business where we were. That there is. I know how to do it. You told me already. But thank you. Did they have the licensing rights to use lightsabers? I don't think they did. <laughs> I just had a really random flashback as well. It's, this was one of the things that I didn't like about this game. This is what scared me. And I remember this. I remember the sound effects. And just seven, eight year old me just being freaked out. Like, I don't know if there's. I know there's a scientific name for it. I just can't remember what it is. It's not well known. But I have a fear of anatomy. And it's not like a big, big fear. It's not like, oh, if I see blood, I'm going to freak out or anything like that. No, I am just. I am one of those people that's like, you know what? Like a surgery, trying to watch a surgery or something like that, like even on a TV show, it's very difficult for me. Like I have to like turn away or something like that, and I'm like, I'm not used to seeing skeletons that much. It's just it freaks me out. Cartoon skeletons or anything, it it's not that bad. But I remember as a kid, I had a really really bad fear of skeletons. Like even in even well into high school, and it was it was a very big fear. Like I would see a skeleton, I would immediately turn my attention away. Health class was fun. Uh, my one of my health teachers was like we're gonna simulate how lungs work and i think she brought in like pig lungs or something like that and she basically hung them up on a rack i didn't actually see it i just remember her describing it and uh she was like pumping air through them to show you how the lungs work i couldn't do it i i legit couldn't do it. i was present in the class i didn't like run out of the room but like I like, just constantly kept my attention somewhere else. I remember her like looking at me like, Michaela, are you all right? And I'm like, yep, just fine. And I remember telling her after class because she was kind of like, okay, what's going on? And she had told me after class and she's like, is, every like, is everything really okay? I'm like, I have a fear of anatomy. <laughs> and I'm like, and I've never gotten to the point where my fear and my anxiety has gotten so bad that it's impeded upon my life. Uh, because I've had those coping mechanisms, like looking away, like just not thinking about it kind of idea. And it's one of those things where I was like, I'm very worried about what would have happened if I had let my anxiety get to that point. Would I have passed out? Would I have freaked out and ran out of the room? Would I have had a panic attack? More than likely, I would have had a panic attack. <laughs> 14 years old in high school. That would have been a great start to the school year. There we go. And it matches pretty perfectly with the ship. <laughs> Dang. Part of me is doing this because I think I'm just gonna have to like digitally reconstruct everything afterwards. So I'm just gonna take screenshots of, you know, everything, what I can get from what it was gonna try to print and then just, you know, do that. And then print it off on my own time. I think that's what I'm going to have to do, which kind of sucks, but... Oh well, that's fine. At least I will still have something to put up on to my wall. To add to my collection. I feel like I'm going to start folders now. Not like on my computer, but like physical folders of all the things I'm printing out. Because I'm going to eventually run out of space on my wall. Avast, me hearties! That's one fine Jolly Roger. I knew ye were a true pirate the minute I laid eyes on ya. <gasps> it actually shows what my ship looks like. Oh, the, I didn't realize it. On the, uh, on the little display, it also shows the ship. But I made it. And it shows, <laughs> it shows my flag. 
Oh man. I feel like I just need to print this out. Just the room. Like, I'll do the individual pieces as well, but it's like, I just feel like I want to, like, print out the room itself, like, with all that together. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> okay, well, I think we're done here. Keep looking for those map pieces, me bucko! How did that get in there? many pieces of the map you found right I don't want to make progress also this here's the cap keep looking for those map pieces me bucko it takes a lot of work to keep his ship moving now it's my turn to swab the deck get it look I'm gonna swab the deck ha 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 oh well that was pretty funny so, let's see, so... There's a piece of the map here! See if you can find it! Hold the herring, mates! Helga's me name, and I'm in charge of steering the ship! Come have a look at the great big wheel! Ahoy, Helga! How's she steering today? Steady as she goes, Ponglo Pete! Steady as she goes! Come on up, me bucko! Give the big wheel a try! Ahoy there! You must be really lucky! I don't want to be lucky. Ahoy there! I'm like trying to figure out what I'm doing here like because there's this island over here and I'm like I kind of want to go to it but like I also don't want to go to it before I see the rest of the ship but I'm like with how we're doing I'm feeling like we're gonna get the last piece before we do that which I don't want and we're already here let's just go Ahoy, matey! Pirate Island draws nearer! Don't click on it again unless you're ready for danger! Tight, Stubbs and his crew come to bother us again. Ah, oh, no, stuck again. <laughs> Get the bone meal! The bone meal? Yeah, I will say, I actually. I remember, like, being very unsettled by this place as a kid as well. But the whole getting stuck in the railings, yeah, that's happened to me. Like, four o'clock in the morning and I'm screaming for my dad to come get me because I got my head stuck in the railing. Yeah. That was fun. There's an arrow here. There's lots of things here, but- and I don't know what they do. Hey, bud. They got you too, eh? Yeah, I'm doing time too, but I'm innocent, see? I'm innocent! <laughs> 90s games were weird. Come on, I, I want to get out of here. Ribs, Spiny! If I told you once, I've told you a million times. Straighten up this room! Aye, aye, Captain Bone Meal! Well do, Captain. You heard the Captain? Get cleaning! Captain Bone Meal was talking to you when he said that. He couldn't have been talking to me. I'm allergic to cleanliness. Well, I've got a hangnail. 
A man can't work in my condition. Well, Juice and Crow, what do I do now then? Wow, maybe the evil pirate banquet will be at our place. Doubt it. It's always at Captain Muffy's place. Uh, out on the cake. This gives the room a whole new feeling. It's like heaven on earth. I mean, cool. Glad to know I can just kind of put things anywhere and just, uh... I want it. Oh, I want it there. Ah, oh, very creative. This kid's got a great sense of space. Now we'll have room for a sofa and credenza. Hmm, simple yet dramatic. Bold yet understated. I don't know what to do with half of this crap. <laughs> I'll just put this pillow right in there. Bring this forward. Bring this on top. Put this, like, here. Yes, yes! That looks much better! Oh, uh, oh yeah! I agree! Now, why didn't you think of that? Yes, yes! That looks much better! We'll do this instead. Uh, oh yeah! I agree! And then, you know what, just a... a kind of like a, a rug. No. Fantastic. It looks great. <laughs> there we go. Uh, you've taken my collector card. Don't forget, every time you click on a pirate, you get a collector card. Love how it says he'd be so dangerous if he wasn't so clumsy, and I'm like, that can be dangerous in itself. <laughs> can I get your collector card? No. I guess not. There's a time and a place to get collector cards in. What is... What is this? Oops. Okay, nope. Nothing here? There, the jail. I actually also think I remember this playset. I think this is actually a playset. <laughs> and I, I actually kind of want this playset now. Like, I feel like if I got a Fisher Price playset, I'd probably want this. <laughs> Those eyes are kind of creepy. Uh, let's see, I think I'm done here. Oh, I'm sorry, what the heck? Hmm, no crab cakes tonight, I guess. Well, that sucks. I'll just bet there's a map piece here. Hey, mateys! Look up here! Come on up! I'm up in the crow's nest! You must be really lucky! I can go up further! That... that's really dangerous. I don't know if I want to go up to the crow's nest anymore. That big gold thing is the telescope. It makes things that are far 
far away, look real close so you can see them better. All you have to do is click on things in the distance. <laughs> Well, I missed the pelican. <laughs> oh god, that thing's going really fast. Oh, I knew I should have bought a real boat. Go away, Sharky! Shoo! Shoo! Look at me! I'm king of the sea and king of the Nile too. She's a pro. Stroke, stroke. Is he still behind us? He's right on my tail. Stroke, stroke, stroke. <laughs> Whoa! Easy there, sea biscuit. Yeah! I got salt water in my saddle so. No, that's mystery. We snaw. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mo Moby who? Moby, you'll open the door and let me in. Ah ha! If I click on him again, what happens? Oh, he's in there. Oh, I think this is heavy. Oh boy. Oh, uh, let's see. Your uh, X marks the spot. Very embarrassing. If I'm wait till the guy gets off screen or something. Stroke, stroke. Whoa, wait, I don't... Oh, I'm all wet. You're supposed to be wet. You're aware. Yeah, well, you're a puppet. Look at you. All your colors are running. Oh my goodness! Knock, knock. Who's there? Ishmael! Ishmael who? Ishmael's not mine! Ish yours! Stroke, stroke. Oh, I'm all wet! Yeah, we saw one. Okay. Oh, blow! Oh, I knew it! This is heavy. Oh, Really hard to like actually click on things that are in the environment. Didn't you find the buried treasure yet? I technically found the buried treasure. I saw where the other guys were burying their treasure. So I could go and steal that, like a real pirate. But this is pirates for kids. So these pirates actually have morals. And I'm not talking about like pirate code. I'm talking about like actual morals. What was I doing here? Let's see. I was looking for. What was I looking for? Oh, I remember. A pirate's work is never done. Okay, bye. I'll just bet there's a map piece here. I still haven't found the one that was here. Hi, buggy. What I did. Are you about like going down in here or something like that, or? There's the shark raft! Ahoy, Mr. Pim! Ahoy there, Pongolo Pete! Why don't you and your pirate pal come help me out down here? What are we doing? Shiver me, Shetlands, matey! Welcome to the shark raft! I'm Mr. Pim, Captain Stubbs' right hand man. Here on the shark raft, you can fling barrels at things that pass by. Why don't I load up a barrel, and you fling it?
pirate overboard! Better watch where you're walking, matey. Come on out of the drink now before you get all pale and wrinkly. Let's go. I didn't realize I walked right off the raft. What if I want to get all pale and wrinkly? This is a very patient man. You know what, I respect that. Oh, I actually have to like... Yahoo! It's barrels of fun! Now, click on the barrels to get a new one! You'll improve with practice, mate! Sardines! I love them on crackers! Where's the tartar sauce? There's supposed to be tartar sauce here! I need sauce with my fish! It's just too plain without sauce! Sardines are fine plain! She's some crow. Oh, whoops. You've got style, me bucko! Perfect! Okay, so I'm kinda getting the hang of this. I love how there's a scoreboard. It's like keeping score. Nope. Oh, so close. These are good, but I need something on the side. Something crunchy. Hey, where's the french fries? This isn't a meal without the fries. Mm. I mean, come on, this is just a sandwich. Mm, you're right, it needs fries. All right. Wait. Oh, fire, that's Reese. Ooh, stinky cheese. Oh my gosh, did someone work out around here? It sure does smell. Oh my gosh. I love that. Is someone working out around here? Oh my gosh, it smells. Wow, I've never... Only in the 90s could you shame somebody for working out. The frick are you? Is that a, like a Mario character? Ooh. Move fast. That height. I got him. <laughs> Are we doing barrelception? Kippers and swizzle sticks. You scored a perfect ten. See if you can do it again. I scored a perfect 10, but what happens when I get this barrel into the barrel? Barrel of monkeys. Oh god. It went so fast! I want it, but I can't get it. You'll improve with trying. I'm waiting for the sharks again because I really want to see what the sharks do. And yes, my score is reset because I accidentally clicked out of it and then it like messed up the video. So or not the video, but like the image quality was messed up. There you are. Wasn't bothering you. I got it. Perfect. Kippers and swizzle sticks. 
You scored a perfect 10. See if you can do it again. Okay, there's nothing special about just... That's it. Okay. Hurrah! I surrender to your superior barrel-flinging skills. Cute. <laughs> I wonder if there's a map piece here. Check around. Man overboard. Okay. I found it. I finally found it. Look at how many pieces of the map you found. Okay, so my hope is that I won't have to get all the pieces. That they'll just kind of like let me go. They'll let me explore. E or even if I get all the pieces, they'll still let me explore. They'll just be like, oh, if you want to finish the game or you want to get your reward, do this. Because there's still the other half of the ship that we haven't even seen. So I want to get to that part. And then obviously there's the whole like finding the treasure and everything. So uh, I'm going to leave it up here, get some lunch, maybe come back for the second part. And, you know, then we'll see where this goes. All right. Well, I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye!